from the creative team that brought us that awful Blair Witch reboot is a movie that's actually really good. You're Next. This is a home invasion thriller horror film. And we've seen those before, but I think this really stands above them. Like, if uh, immediately you may kind of compare it to something like, say, The Strangers, where basically uh, these masked killers invade a home of, of innocent or seemingly innocent people, and they terrorize them throughout the whole movie, and that's pretty much it. Um, and it is, uh, of course, kind of a, a scary general concept. Like, what would what would you do if... This is, this is something like this happened. Just these maniacs came to your house, you know, and tortured you like that. So it's, it's one of those movies where you can kind of put yourself in, in, in the shoes of of the main characters. But there, there are two main things that kind of set it apart. And first is that while it is kind of scary to not have a motive, as the screen movies have taught us, um, in theory but not in practice. <laughs> Uh, that's something that you'll see in, in in the strangers. With here, there is a motive, and this will will not be a spoiler filled review, so I'm going to keep it fairly general. Uh, there is a motive, and it's a good one, and it supplies some pretty in, intriguing and engaging uh, twists and turns to the story, which I I really liked. Uh, also, in probably I would say the most enjoyable part of the movie is that well, yes, it's it's a scary concept, but depending on the audience, depending on maybe even your mood, you can take this as kind of a comedy. Like, it goes so over the top uh, because it has some really tremendous blood and guts and gore and and just really shocking stuff, uh, which if you you you, you have a mindset where you're just taking it at face value, seeing it as a straight horror thrill, I think it works absolutely fine that way. But in viewing it as kind of more of of a, let's say, an absurd kind of uh, horror comedy. It, it works great. Like, there's one scene where, you know, uh, this, uh, t- trying not to give away too much, but a character's like, okay, we have to get help. I volunteer. I'm going to be the one to help us. Now, when when I count to three, you open the door, and I'm going to run out. And it's this dramatic slow motion scene, and then what happens is grotesque, but kind of funny so i don't know uh so it, it's one of those types of movies and uh if i can add a third thing that sets it apart is that we have a great character in aaron so basically what the story is it's a very thin plot uh, I, I mean really all it is there's a family they're going to reunite for an anniversary dinner uh, for the parents we have the kids come the kids bring their dates and things like that one of the kids brings uh, this this australian girl her name is aaron she's Uh, a little bit mysterious so we find out during this invasion during this horrific situation that she's able to hand herself uh, handle herself actually quite well and we kind of learn a little bit as to why so that's kind of an interesting interesting thing but at the same time i think it makes the movie pretty shitty like this character she can do so many great things without really explaining why you know she's really just kind of a mary sue character if you don't know know what that is you can look it up uh, no that's just my impression of a fucking moron um she's a great character and 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 i loved you know her really socking it to these fucking douchebags and in, in pigs masks and things like that. Um, so it, it is a very enjoyable movie. And really what it's all about, it's... It, I mean, it's something that we can all kind of relate to, not on this exact level, but it's a movie about a dysfunctional family. You know, sometimes you just don't get along with your family, but sometimes situations can come that test you, and whether you're going to work with your family or work against them, this is kind of up to you and your character. So uh, this movie is an examination of that, and it's an examination of the modern American family, I guess you could say, if you want to read into it a lot more deeper uh, than necessary, but I think uh, the work from uh, Adam Wingard and and, uh, uh, Simon Barrett here is top-notch. This is an excellent film, highly recommended, so much better than Blair Witch, which I I thought was was horrible, but but this, I would say, this is just about a modern classic. Uh, I I can't recommend it highly enough, so this is one of those... (laughs) You know, reviews where it's it's hard to say too much more than like it turning into the Chris Farley show. It's like remember that part and you're next where the guy gets the arrow through the head. That was cool. That was funny. Anyway, but uh, oh, and and points uh, you get horror fan credit if you know who that person is. So yeah, uh, that's my review. If, if you're next, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. You will not regret it. 
Uh, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Visit Dare237.com. Plenty more 31 Days of Horror reviews to come. So stay tuned for, for that, and stay, stare, stay scared. <laughs>